All right, it looks like we are live for our first ever Autodesk Inventor 101 The Basics live stream from YouTube. All right, so my name is James. I'm going to try and get on here every week for all of you to watch The Basics of Inventor. Uh, to start, you're going to have to have Inventor launched, and then we're going to just click on Part to create our first part. Uh, while this loads, fun thing about Autodesk, if you tell someone you work at Autodesk, they assume you know AutoCAD and I don't. Another fun thing, if you work in manufacturing, they assume you know Inventor. I don't really know that either all that well. So that's why I decided to walk through with you guys the Autodesk Inventor 2018, a tutorial introduction by Scott Hansen. So if you wanna follow along, check that out on Amazon and you can follow along with me. So today we're going to be looking at a bunch of things like starting sketches, dimensioning those lines, uh, using the trim command, the extend command, turning your 2D into 3D geometry, chamfers, maybe not chamfers, fillets, holes, extruding, all sorts of good things. So to start, I'm going to click on the Start 2D Sketch button, and then just choose one of these planes to sketch on. And we're going to keep things pretty basic to begin. So we're going to use the line command, and to use the line command, you press the button, and then you just left click and drag, and you can make it look however you want. A little tip, if you drag down to the line and drag up, you can see that you have this dotted line that shows up to make sure that your endpoints match up. And then if we go down here, we can click and finish our rectangle. So that's pretty easy, but our sketch isn't the size that we want it. So to do that, we're going to have to use the dimension command. So clicking on dimension, I can then select this line, and I'll move this up so we can see it. Uh, there's a little box that we can enter what dimension we want all of these lines to be. So this one I think we're going to say is two inches, and click OK. And if I zoom out a bit, you can see now my line has grown in size. And then the next one we're going to click over here and say 0.25. And so with that, all of our lines are now sized the way we want them. So we're going to continue creating some lines on our geometry to make sort of a Z-looking shape. And for those that are watching, if you want to see a cleaner version of this, uh, I've actually recorded it already. Uh, it's on our YouTube channel, so check out the Autodesk Inventor YouTube channel to see a more, let's say, clean, fast-paced version of this. All right, so now we have our Z created, but we're not really interested in this extra segment of line that we have. So we're going to go and click the trim command and hover over here. And you can see when you hover over the line, it turns red and it shows the dotted segment that it's going to trim. If we came over here, you would see that it would trim the larger section of the line. So just left click and there it goes. So now we would think that we're ready to start dimensioning our part, but really we have a little problem and that's that this line segment is made up of two lines, but we don't really want that. So we're going to select this and delete. And so now we have a gap here. So if we wanted to mention this as one line segment, we're going to have to make this one complete line. We could go and delete this line and then draw a new one, or we could choose the extend command and click that line. And you can see now we have one full line right there. So that's pretty simple. And now we can go ahead and dimension this to give us uh, all the sizes that we were interested in. So again, clicking the dimension command, we're going to choose this one and say it's 1.75. We're going to choose this one and say this is 0.25 like the other size. And what else do we have? I guess this guy, 1.75. And last but not least, we've been dimensioning lines all this time. We're actually going to select two points and show that we can dimension the thickness of this part or the length of that segment uh, by using two points as well. So that's pretty cool. And now if we take a look at this, we're going to be done with our 2D sketch. So we can click the finish sketch option. And now we're going to choose to extrude this thing. So to do that, obviously we click on the extrude button and it selects our sketch for us and it defaults to one inch for the extrusion, which that actually works for me. 
So I'm going to click OK. And I believe if any of you have questions, you can enter them into the chat. And if I don't get to them now, I'll try and answer them later on. So feel free to chat with me all you want. Next, we're going to add some fillets to our part here. So we're going to fillet each of these corners that you see highlighted there. So just click on the fillet command. And we're going to click on each of these and close my little Adobe update. And something here that's kind of neat, you can actually select this line without actually seeing it. You can just click through the part, we'll say. And now we're going to change the radius from 0.125 to, I believe, a value of 0.5 inches, which would make sense since it's a one inch thick part. And it gives us this nice rounded face. And now we'll click OK. So pretty cool, we have those nice rounded parts. Now we're going to cut some holes into our part. And we're going to do that a couple of ways. So we're going to do the first one by creating a 2D sketch and clicking on this surface. And then we're going to choose to use a circle. I'm going to use the center point circle. If you click on the drop down, you can see that there are different options here. I'm just going to use the basic one. And I want to do it at the center point. So if I kind of hover over here, you see that that center point shows up. And then I snap to it when, it's a, when a green dot shows up. So I left click there, and I'm going to type in 0.5 inches, finish my sketch. And again, I'm going to use the extrude command, just like we did before. So again, you see that it's choosing to extrude this shape one inch straight up, but that doesn't do me any good. What I want is to cut material away, and right now it's set to one inch. Uh, that's fine. It doesn't really matter for our needs. It would cut through everything, but you could go ahead and say 0.25 so that it ends at that nice surface. And now you see that we have a hole right through there. So now we're going to make another hole up at the top. And again, we're going to choose Start 2D Sketch, but this time we're going to do things a little bit differently. And so we're going to start by creating a, a, a center point here. So you see the point command. Again, we can just click points all over the place but I want it on that center point again. So I see it show up in green, I click, and then I'm going to right click and say, finish 2D sketch. And with that, I'm now going to click the whole command. And when I do that, you can see that it chooses that active sketch that I just created. And now we're going to be able to uh, define a hole. So it's more than just a hole that went straight through our part. We're going to be able to make this a little bit fancier where we can do things like countersinking. So if we click here and choose a counter bore, we can now define all sorts of stuff, such as uh, the diameter, which again, we're going to make 0.5. How deep do we want this one to go? Uh, let's go 0.125. So it's not going to go the whole thickness of our part. The distance here, it doesn't really matter what we put just so it's, get, just so it's getting through the thickness. And then, we're going to choose last what our uh, what our diameter for the bottom hole will be. And 0.25 works fine. You can also see that the termination we already have defined as a distance. If we said through all, we would get rid of that one box that we had to define. So let's go ahead and do that and click OK. And now you can see that this one's a little bit different than what we had worked with before. Pretty simple. Uh, half inch diameter part way through, halfway through, and then the smaller diameter the rest of the way. So if we zoom back out here, we now have what I would call our finished part. So pretty simple. I didn't want to start things off too complicated since this is the basics. But just to review, we went through a few commands here. We started with a 2D sketch. We learned how to dimension parts. We learned how to use the trim command as well as extend. We learned a dimension from points and not just the lengths of lines. And then we learned to extrude and fillet the 3D geometry, create sketches on faces to make cuts through them, as well as using the whole command. So I think we got a good eight commands down. I know this was really basic, but as we move forward through everything, we'll be uh, getting a little bit more complicated. Again, if you want to follow along, check out Scott Hansen's Autodesk Inventor 2018, a tutorial introduction. 
and uh, you can do these along with me. I'll also be creating uh, nicer versions of these videos to be posting on the Inventor YouTube channel, so make sure to check out and subscribe to us there. All right, thanks for watching.